Thank you for your interest in the Comet Planner tool. While conservation strategies currently consider a range of environmental, agronomic, and economic benefits, Comet Planner allows users to explore potential atmospheric benefits through enhancing carbon sequestration in soils or biomass and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The Comet Planner tool provides generalized estimates of greenhouse gas benefits of implementing NRCS conservation practice standards, which users may use to incorporate into conservation practice planning documents. The Comet Planner tool has four steps that need to be completed to generate a report. Steps are indicated on the left of the page. To begin, start with step one and enter the project name, then select the state and county location of your farm or ranch. After the project has been named and the location has been selected, move to step two. Users will select the category of NRCS conservation practice standards that is planned to be implemented. Simply click on the icon that you would like to evaluate. Clicking any of the icons will generate a list of specific conservation practice standards in Step 3. Moving to Step 3, Comet Planner users will see a list of conservation practice standards associated with the category you clicked on in Step 2. The conservation practice standards are presented by name and number. Clicking on an NRCS conservation practice standard, you will notice that the table on the right called Conservation Practice Implementation will be populated. Conservation practice standards provide general guidance on practice implementation. In Comet Planner, practice standards were interpreted and translated into one or more implementation options. Clicking on an implementation of the practice adds it to the table in Step 4. Positive sign located next to the implementation option will change to a negative sign. This indicates that this has been added to the table in Step 4. Clicking on the negative sign will remove the practice from the table in Step 4. Comet Planner users may evaluate as many conservation practice standards as you would like. You can select other practice categories by returning to Step 2 and clicking on an icon to access the associated conservation practice standard. When all the desired practice standards have been selected, you will move to step 4 to enter the acreage for each practice standard selected. For more information on any conservation practice, you can click on the practice name in the table of step 4. Conservation planners will have the option to view the NRCS conservation practice standard by clicking the NRCS Conservation Practice Standard button. For more information on how the practice was interpreted for the Comet Planner and Greenhouse Gas Qualification Methods, click on the One Page Summary button. To complete the evaluation, enter the total acreage for each conservation practice standard selected into the empty box to the right of the practice standard. As acreage is entered, values will populate to the right of the table. Values are reported for all relevant greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and methane. All values are totaled and reported in total CO2 equivalents. For an explanation of the units and global warming potentials, click on Ton CO2 Equivalent Per Year in the table heading. Values for all conservation practice standards are totaled at the bottom of the table. Values are reported as either a positive or negative value. Negative values indicate that there is a loss of carbon or increased emissions of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Positive values indicate carbon sequestration or a decrease in greenhouse gas emissions. Estimates for all greenhouse gases may not be available for all practices due to limited data. Conservation planners can print and download the results by clicking the Download and Print Comet Planner Results button located at the bottom right of the table. The project name, state, county, and the timestamp can be found in the top left of the report. The report can be saved as a PDF or printed. The bottom table provides information on how results are calculated, 
including emission reduction coefficients for each selected practice. For more details on the contributions of soils, biomass, soil nitrous oxide, and other sources to the total emission reduction coefficients, click on Click to show detailed emission reduction. Comet Planner provides generalized estimates of greenhouse gas impacts of conservation practices and is intended for initial planning purposes. For more detailed analysis of carbon sequestration or greenhouse gas emissions on your farm or ranch, please visit Comet Farm. Thank you for using Comet Planner.